Well, hello everyone. It's the Mad Monk here once again. Um, I had uh, a couple of emails about the Finepix Fuji camera, um, of which I have a video on, on my channel. And I've had two questions sent to me by email. And one is from Shane Barry, and he asks, what setting should I be on for setting my micro, as he loves to take photographs of insects. And also I have had a question from a William 199886 and he says uh, how do I turn off the beeping? Well I sat down in front of my computer and I was just about to ask uh, or, or just about to uh, type out I should say uh, an email or put a comment on my video um, about these but it, I thought it would be easier just to make um, another video and show you with the camera on how you do these two things. So first of all what I shall do is to give you a close-up of the camera and I'll answer Shane Barry's question first of all on how should I do the settings for macro. This way as well you can actually see what I'm doing with the camera and you can see what knobs, buttons and whatever I'm pressing to give you these results. Okay, so first of all, to Shane Barry. Right, okay, so first of all, to Shane Barry, what do I do about turning on the micro settings? This is the uh, back of my camera. First of all, you turn this knob on the top round to SP. From then on you can turn on your camera, or you can turn on your camera first of all if you like, and then turn that round to SP. Then when you get your picture in the back, the button here is for the macro settings. So if you click over to macro, as you can see in the back there you've got, you've got off, and if you click this button here, on this side where the lightning symbol is, press that again and it goes across, off, macro close up shots. When it's over on the last symbol, I, I, I can't keep these actually on because they don't stay on because it's only a quick move over of the button you see. So you can get close up shots if you go over to where the magnifying glass is, right, that symbol, and then if you're in the middle, would you just click it back again? Okay, you've got macro close up shots, which means that if you want to photograph an, uh, an insect at a reasonable distance away to fill your screen, then you only need to have it on the flower symbol there. But if you want to go even closer and get, say, a spine off its back or so forth, or a pattern on its wings, then you would press this button here all right, to bring you over to the super macro, which means you can go to 0.8 inches away from that insect. So I hope that answers your question, Shane. And uh, if there's any more problems, send me an email and I'll try to uh, do either answer it normally or put another video up. Okay, so that's SP on the top. Press where the flower is and that takes you over to all the macro settings. There you go. Okay, and now William199886, how do I turn off the beeping? Okay, I'll show you how to turn off the beeping. Okay, what you do to turn off the be beeping is that if you press the center button there, where it says menu, just keep your finger on it just for a slight, slight second and it will stay on to all your menus. 
you'll be able to see all your menus. And then all you have to do, whichever one you're on, and you don't have to turn off on the top button at all, you don't have to touch that, you just press the centre button to menu. Then all your menus come up here. This is where you do all your settings for your camera. And then if you press the micro button over to the left, that will send the arrow over to this top section of menus. All right, just there. Then what you need to do is to come down to settings. So if you come down to settings by pressing this button at the bottom here, where it says down for timer, that jumps down okay, to your settings. Then if you, at the moment, all you're on is highlighting the setting button there. And what you want to do is to come over to this side. And when you come over to this side, you press the lightning button again to bring, to lighten up all of this. And all you need to do is to then move these buttons up and down here, right, just there. And you come down to silent mode. And at the moment you see silent mode is off, so that is why you're hearing all the beeping. Now if you press this one over on the light hand side to the right, press that down, and this emblem comes up, So, and then do the top one here, which goes on to on, so which means then your silent mode is on. Then if you press this one back over again to the left, then your display is saying silent mode on. When you then flick up and down anywhere and back to your pictures, whichever you press, there's no beeping. So that is how you turn off and on your beeping sound. All right, so I hope that's okay. So I hope this video has helped William and Shane and anybody else who might have the same camera and uh, has had these problems. Um, I'd also like to say while I'm here is to um, thank you to everyone who has viewed my new camera and um, I'd just like to say that uh, you've all given me over 7,000 views. In fact it's um, 7,623 to date. And this um, video has been up on my channel for uh, six months uh, and um, I've done very well and I thank you all for viewing. Um, I have tried to answer questions by email but if it's um, at all possible and I have any other questions or, or emails sent to me about the problems that you might be having on this camera, I'll try to make another video and show you um, with the camera um, how to change various settings and so forth. So once again, thank you very much. And uh, I hope this has helped uh, anybody else who might have these problems. See you again.